This is part two of the user guide for the B2 Bomber ADC and DAC now with Dante. In this video, we will cover Dante installation and setup. Please note that the B2 Bomber can ship with or without the Brooklyn 2 Dante or BK2 card installed. This section of the video will take you through installing the BK2 card in a unit without the card pre installed. Installing the Brooklyn 2 card or BK2 Dante card for the B2 Bomber ADC or DAC. The first thing you want to do is remove all the cables from the B2 and touch the metal chassis to ground yourself before opening the unit. Once I've removed all nine screws, I'm going to remove the lid. Locate the Dante card bracket, which is right here. Insert the front of the Dante card into the bracket like so, at a slightly raised angle. And once all the teeth are completely inserted, push down and click into place like so. The Dante card is now installed and I'm ready to replace the lid, all screws, and plug the unit in. Dante Quick Start Step 1. Download and install the Dante controller and purchase the Dante Virtual Sound card or the Dante PCIe card. Note. The Dante Virtual Sound Card has a latency of 4 milliseconds in and 4 milliseconds out for a total of 8 milliseconds round trip latency. The Dante PCIe card, such as the Focusrite PCIe card, has a round trip latency of 0.3 milliseconds. For this reason, we recommend using the PCIe card. Please note the actual latency used between two endpoints is the larger of the two endpoint settings. In this case, anything to or from Dante Virtual Sound Card can only go as low as the settings for the DVS or Dante Virtual Sound Card, 4 milliseconds being the lowest. Using a PCIe card is recommended to get down to 0.15 milliseconds. To download Dante Virtual Sound Card and Dante Controller, go to audinate.com slash products slash software. For the Dante PCIe card, we recommend Focusrite RedNet PCIe. Step 2. Using CAT6 Ethernet cable, connect the B2 bomber to a gigabit switch. Connect your DAW computer to the same switch with the CAT6 cable. For best results, start by removing all other connections to the switch. Dante should be on its own network. Step 3. Set B2 to internal clock and the desired sample rate. Here I have it on internal and 96. Of course you can use an external clock if you prefer. Step 4. Open Dante Virtual Sound Card. Click on the Settings tab. Though the Dante Virtual Sound Card can handle 64 in and 64 out at 44.1 and 48 kHz, 32 in and 32 out at 88.2 and 96 kHz, and 16 in, 16 out at 176.4 and 192 kHz, in this example we are using the B2 Bomber ADC and DAC, or 2 in and 2 out. With Dante Latency, you want to choose the lowest latency settings. And Network Interface, leave it as it is at EN0. Once all settings have been set, click Start. Step 5. Open Dante Controller. Step 6. Click on the Routing tab. Click on the corresponding coordinates to enable each device. Here you can see the B280C, and we want to connect the inputs to the DAW here. This is the connection of the B280C to the DAW. And here we can see the DAC, which is one of our receivers. This is the connection of the B2DAC to the DAW. Step 7. Click on Device Info, and double-click on the B2Bomber ADC or DAC. Step 8. Click on Device Configuration. Now select Sample Rate and the lowest latency for each device. Here we have 96K 
and I'm using the lowest latency value. However, please note, with the PCIe card, latency of 0.15 milliseconds is possible. With the virtual sound card, latency is 4 milliseconds each way, in and out. So next we want to go to the B2 DAC and make sure our sample rate is correct. And we have the lowest latency. Again with Dante virtual sound card, we're not going to get anything better than 4 milliseconds. Lastly, select the DAW, which in this case is called Williams MacBook Pro, and select the correct sample rate. Note, you will have to set the sample rate for each device. With multiple units, the sample rate needs to be set for each unit, including the DAW. For more information, go to audinate.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go to our website, burlaudio.com, or email info at burlaudio.com.